Hi, I'm Dr. Mukherjee, founder, trustee and director of a non-profit organization in India. And we have been helping brain damaged children for more than two decades. In the first decade, we hardly ever heard of autism and most of us are unaware what autism is. In the last one decade, we are getting flooded by demands for help for parents and guardians having children with autism. The scenario today is best summarized by one of our ex-staff who has joined another institution. I asked her, tell me how many children on the spectrum do you find in your school? He said, Dr. Mukherjee, each class of 50 boys has got one child on the spectrum, but they are of the mild variety. The moderate to severe variety are locked up at home or in few inclusive schools which are available here and there. There is no regular school for autism. So only those with a very mild spectrum get to see the school in any case. In this scenario, one of the foremost drugs that helps the children to come out of their spectrum, lead a better quality of life, is a methylated form of routine, ordinary vitamin B12. And this methyl part is needed for reading the instructions which are there already in the brain of the autistic children in the genetic code, which somehow they are unable to read because their body cannot make enough of methylated B12. So we have to give them the methyl B12 injection. By reading the genetic code, it helps an all-round development of the autistic child with better attention span, better behavior, better psychosocial activities, better cognitive activities, much better at studies, walking, sensory integration, complete all-round, because all these are cognitive function, brain functions, which were there in the child but could not be expressed because the genetic code could not be read and now it can be read. But the problem with methyl B12 is that this is an ancient drug, outside patent, so no company wants to make it the way we want it. What is commercially available is a 0 0.5 milligram per ml injection. You give a shot, it will work for 4 to 5 hours and then it is either metabolized or excreted in urine. But God made a 24 hour day. How often can we inject a child? The via media were discovered in USA by scientists and workers there. They found out that if you concentrate it 50 times, so that now it is 25 milligram per ml, the volume of drug you need to give is a tiny drop, no, no, wrong. It's one third to half of a drop of water. That's all. It is given by an insulin syringe just beneath the skin in the hip. And that injection lasts for 72 hours. It's a painless injection, well tolerated, given by parents when the child is asleep. And that is bringing out a profound significant change. But as we said, this is out of patent. So no pharmaceutical firm wants to touch it spending a billion dollars to do the complete research necessary and then the FDA or the drug control will say okay we approve MB12 now anybody can start making it where's the fun of spending a billion dollars then money has to be recovered so nobody wants to touch it it's a hot potato what we call orphan drug in medical parlance we at Uran have decided to do that clinical trial a double blind placebo control long term follow up trial in 100 children followed up for three years. Now the drug controller of India has given us permission, yes, after getting a peer review from half a dozen topmost scientists of India that this is the study that can be done and Uran is capable of doing it. But it needs funding because remember no pharmaceutical firm wants to spend money on a drug which anybody will be able to make after our trial is over. And we are very grateful to Manisha Lada Akhil Autism Foundation and the Autism Research Institute at San Diego, USA for raising the initial part of the fund with which we hope to start. But we need much more. We have so far raised about a quarter of the funds necessary for this Herculean project which is going to benefit millions and millions of autistic children not only today
but those that are coming tomorrow. Because currently, the incidence of autism is 1 in 50 newborn children and every indication suggests that due to the increasing pollution load in the world, this incidence is going to increase. We are doing our bit. How about you? Don't you think these autistic children deserve as much freedom and the flight of the spirit inherent in them as you and me? Don't they deserve to enjoy life and society and all its pleasures and friendships and companionships like you and me? Come join us. Help us in any way you can. If you are in the US, you can contact Akhil Autism Foundation or you can contact Uran. Our website is uran.org spelled U-D-A-A-N. Uran means to fly. Flight of the Spirit of Freedom. And we are a charitable organization, so we are dot org. U-D-A-A-N dot org. You can speak to us or you can speak to Akhil Autism Foundation. Help us to bring this needed drug to the world at large. Thank you.